Do you have a rigging station to make your life easier as you prepare all your rigs before you go out? You know, five minutes messing with a rig on the water is five minutes you're not catching fish. Let me walk you through my rigging station on this episode of the channel. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Let me orient you to what I've got around me, and then I'll show you the key element that makes making a rig so, so much easier. So first, of course, I've got a tackle box here that has the bits and pieces I need to make my rigs. You know, jigs, hooks, even got my little LED lights in here, uh, you know, rubber bands, anything I, I think I might need to make a rig. Then I have a a little bit of water out here in this small cup that I put a little water in so I can lubricate my fingers when I'm making a rig and I don't burn the mono or the fluorocarbon as I tighten things down. I've got a little container with my swivels and must add fast hatches and here's where all my weights are. Now I don't really rig much with weights but I have these here and I'll move the weights into my tackle box that's on my kayak when I need them. Now all the little odds and ends end up going into these little magnetic trays that you can get from Harbor Freight, you know, usually for free, and it's a way to throw hooks and things like that into a place where they're going to stick until you're ready to move them into the more organized venue up here. Now for the base of this, what I've got is I've got a a piece of uh, wrapping paper underneath that provides a nice light background so you don't <laughs> you know lose track of things that's on top of here and to keep that protected I've got a small piece of plexiglass that I bought at either Home Depot or Lowe's and cut down to fit here perfectly so now I've got a nice bright bottom especially with the light on to be able to work over and it's waterproof because of the plexiglass one of the, the other things I like to have here at my rigging station is one of these lights with a magnifying glass. So if I'm doing something that requires some fine motor skills, I've got the magnifying glass and I've got the light here as well. In addition, you know, sometimes it's nice to have the light right here focused on your work area. So this is a critical piece of the rigging station. Now, you don't need to have one of these lights. You can always mount an LED light or something up above but it's nice to be able to have some more light falling onto your work area. I also have an old tablet that I don't use inside anymore so if I need to reference anything on the internet or YouTube in terms of some creation I'm making it's right here near me. Up here on this shelf I've got you know my nail polish if I'm gonna paint a jig and on the wall I've got key things like pliers and my uh, braid scissors and split ring pliers, you know, scissors, you know, stuff like that. So everything is right here within reach. Now let me show you the most critical piece of this. And we'll go ahead and just make a rig as we do this. Now I use a lot of bottom rigs, so the first thing I do is I'll just tie a double overhand knot. It's called a surgeon's knot. And that will create a nice big loop here that I can use to uh, attach a weight to. Dip my finger in the water and now here's the key thing. I've got a bent nail right here. Let me get a close-up of that for you. So see this bent nail I've got right here? This is the most critical piece of my rigging station because it provides a point of leverage, basically a third hand, to tighten down anything. Let me show you. So I've got my rig here. I've wet it down and now I can just pop it underneath here pull it tight and then I always grab the tag end and give that a tug with the pliers. Now I know I've got a good knot in here. Clip it off with my scissors and I'm ready to go. Well that may look like magic so let me do it again here with some zero weight fly line. I tie my dropper loop real quick, pull the bottom piece through and then I can hook it into here and now I can tighten it down you know, wet it and then give it a honk. I don't want to tighten this one down because I like using this piece of zero weight fly line to do knot demos. But you can see how critical it is to have this bent nail. 
and now the last part is you can get these little jewelry bead bags at uh, Hobby Lobby or other places that I won't mention and I'll just go ahead and put these right into here and that way they're nice and packaged for when I need them on the water and so I've saved all that time by doing it here in advance and I'll have about 15 of these on the boat with me but now I'm ready to go so I can sit here in the space of about 15 minutes make enough rigs to deal with whatever's going to happen out there on a couple trips. Now I've got the joy of having a big shop out here in the final house I'm going to live in but you don't really need this much room to have the same thing. Let me show you what I did in my last house. To make a rigging station all you really need is an empty spot on a wall and I picked one in my garage in my last house and got a piece of MDF and a couple hinges and made a table that would fold up and then fold down when I needed it to with a big hook to keep it up and out of the way. And later on I added a mount for a light as well as a plug that I could plug that light into as well as anything else electronic that I needed. So you don't need much to make one of these and that bent nail is the key component. Do you have good ideas for a rigging station? Is there something you would suggest that I add to this one? If so, throw it in the comments. Thanks.